friends welcome to the e-learning platform an initiative by science park savitri bai phule pune university let's start our part 2 of the topic materials we use for standard 7 here i am covering chapter 15 from ssc board and chapter 3 from cbsc board uh, subtopics that i'll be covering in this video are first we'll see what are detergents then we'll see types of detergents and how soaps are prepared. Then we'll see some examples of soaps and structure of soap molecule and action of soap molecule. Then we'll see uses of soap, limitations of soaps. Then we'll see advantages of detergents over soaps. And finally, we'll see difference between soaps and detergents. So in this module, you'll be learn you'll learn about the science of soaps and detergents. So let's start. What is a detergent? Any substance which has cleaning action in water is called as a detergent. There are two types of detergents: soapy and non-soapy. Soapy detergent are mostly known as soaps and non-soapy detergents are known as synthetic detergents. Now soaps, a soap is a sodium salt or potassium salt of long chain hydro, hydroxylic acid or fatty acid which has cleaning properties in water. It is a salt of a strong base. NaOH and a weak acid which is a carboxylic acid. So solution of soap in water is basic in nature. How soaps are prepared? Soaps are made by heating animal fats and oils or oils with concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. So sodium hydroxide is known as caustic soda. So let's see the simple process of making soaps by using fats, alkalis and oils. This process is called as saponification process. So in a utensil, you will take aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide that is caustic soda and then we'll add vegetable oil into that. We'll stir the solution with a glass rod and then we'll start heating it at a particular temperature soap is formed and glycerol or alcohol is formed as a byproduct. So third step is you filter it. So on the filter paper you get soap and the filtrate is nothing but alcohol or glycerol. Now there are two examples of soaps. One is sodium stearate. This is the structure of sodium stearate molecule and sodium palmitate. Let's see in detail the structures of these two type examples of soaps. This is the structure of sodium stearate. Here you can count there are 17 atoms of carbon and 35 atoms of hydrogen linked to each other. This red uh, uh, atoms are oxygen atom. So the last lead that the chain ends with a carboxylic group and this purple atom is an atom of sodium. Similarly, in the structure of sodium palmitate we have 15 carbon atoms linked with each other like a chain and 31 hydrogen atoms linked to carbon atoms. Right? At the end of the chain we have a head with a carboxylic group and sodium atom attached to it. Now let's see the in general the structure of a soap molecule. It is also known as a tadpole structure where the head part is always is a, a, a short ionic part and the tail part is a long hydrocarbon chain. So the long hydrocarbon chain is the tail of the tadpole and this short ionic part is a head of the tadpole. This is hydrophilic end and this is hydrophobic chain. Hydrophilic 
water attracting or water loving group and hydrophobic is nothing but water repelling it okay. now let's see what is the action of uh, soap soap molecule here so as we have seen this is the head part of the soap molecule and this is the tail part of the soap molecule it's saying hi to all of you saying hello so this part is hydrophilic water loving and the chain is water heating now in general we we always have dirty clothes we have some oil stains on our clothes so we make a soap solution we take water in a bucket or tub and we add liquid soap into that we stir it well and foam is formed then we dip our dirty clothes in the soap solution one by one right so as we dip our clothes in the soap solution let's see what happens there inside the cloth what happens is all the soap molecules goes and attack on the oil or dirt part of the cloth when water is added it is very easy for the molecules to run here and there and as the dirty part goes up it cleans up the fabric right so following are some uses of soaps we use soaps on daily basis we use soaps for cleaning utensils we use soaps for washing clothes we use soaps for washing our hands right so there are certain limitations of soaps hard water water which contains calcium and magnesium salts is called as a hard water so soap is not suitable for washing clothes with hard water because of two reasons when soap is used for washing clothes with hard water a large amount of soap is wasted in reacting with calcium and magnesium ions of hard water to form insoluble precipitate which is known as scum before it can be used for real purpose of washing so a large amount of soap is needed for washing clothes when the water is hard the scum or the curdy precipitate milky white precipitate is formed by the action of hard water on soap it sticks to the clothes which are being washed and interferes with the cleaning ability of additional soap this makes the cleaning of clothes difficult now let's see what is a detergent okay so detergents are also called as soapless soaps <laughs> because they act like a soap in having the cleansing properties they do not contain the usual soaps like sodium stearate or sodium palmitate etc a detergent is a sodium salt of a long chain benzyl sulfonic acid now here this is the group which is different from normal soaps and this group has a cleansing property in water larger than the stearic acid group this is called as n dodecyl benzyl sulfonate this is the structure of a common detergent and this is another structure which is known as sodium n dodecyl sulfate now let's see certain advantages of uh, detergents over soaps soaps uh, detergents can be used even with hard water whereas soaps are not suitable for use with hard water second point is detergents have a stronger cleansing action than soaps detergents are more suitable in water than soaps now let's see difference between soaps and detergents soaps are sodium salts of long chain carboxylic acids where detergents are sodium salts of long chain of benzyl sulfonic acids action of soap is better when water is soft whereas this can be used in both in hard as well as soft water soaps are biodegradable but detergents are non biodegradable cannot get consumed in environment in nature soaps 
require more water and efforts more efforts are required for cleansing but detergents will require less water and less efforts are required for cleaning soaps have relatively weak cleansing action while detergents have strong cleansing actions bye bye